Hey guys and welcome to this UCAT study with me session. In today's video we're going to be working through a few abstract reasoning questions, all those puzzles and pattern based questions that you'll face in the 2020 UCAT exam. So let's open up Medify and let's get cracking with some questions. Right, so open up Medify, let's quickly go through these questions. I realise I've I went through a few questions, went to, through the first three, and I forgot to um, record the actual screen, so now it's recording. Let's do it properly. So, explain the rules quickly. Um, set A, we've got a shape that's surrounded by two shells um, each time. And then set B, we've got two shapes, each surrounded by one shell. So think of it like M&Ms, maybe. So in set A, the M&Ms have got two shells, and set B, you've got two M&Ms, each with a single shell. So this one has got no shells at all, so that's neither. Um, this has got a single shape with one shell, so that's going to be set A, but, um, well, set A you'd need two shells, so it can't be set A, sorry, and set B you need two different shapes, each with a single shell, so it's actually neither. Um, this one is actually set B because it's got two shapes, each with a single shell, makes sense, set B. Um, the next one is neither because it's got one shape with two shells, which makes it set A, but then also you've got another shape with a single shell, which makes it set B, so it's both, so therefore it's going to be neither. Um, the next one, so we've got two shapes, each with a single shell, plus an, X, plus an extra shape as this one does, therefore it's going to be set B, um, and therefore we should have all of it correct, I think. We'll see in a second. Perfect, yes, we've got all of them correct indeed. Now, um, let's just do some more abstract reasoning questions. Oh, perfect, a sequence, right. So, we've got a cross like this, going to a cross that's vertical and horizontal, then diagonal, then horizontal again. So we need a diagonal cross that's going to be between one and two and three. Here, we have, uh, well, all of the sort of spirals have got like a, an out, like a straight line finishing off that comes out of it. And, um, here the line's going up, then it's going that way, then it's going up, then it's going that way. So technically the line should be pointing up. This is clockwise, this is anti-clockwise, this is clockwise, this is anti-clockwise, therefore we need clockwise again. Great, perfect. Um, this should be correct indeed, we'll see. Thank you, 52 seconds, that's alright. So we've got one, two lines and a hexagon in there, one, two, three, four lines and a Triangle. So it looks like the number of lines is doubling and the number of sides of the shape is halving. So I've got three lines here, so I need six lines in the next one. So I've got um, one, two, three, can't be this one, can't be this one, I've got to be between these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, can't be this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, great. And we've got four sides here. Four divided by two is two, therefore one, two sides, it has to be that. Yes, perfect, good work. Let's just do another abstract reasoning question. Um, right, set A, set B again. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it looks like all of these seem to have seven sides. Whereas here we've got eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 8. So this is seven sided shapes, eight sided shapes. Great. Um, yeah, so this is eight. That's got to be B. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, octagon, set B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, set A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, neither. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's neither. Fingers crossed this is correct. We will see in a second. Good work, right, that's all done, really good. Let's do another abstract reasoning set. So we have an arrow in each one. Um, okay, we've got a circle with a, with a shape here. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so three, four, eight, six. This is rather weird as to how the numbers are increasing. So in general, the arrow is facing to the left, here it's facing to the right, here it's facing to the left, here it's facing to the right. So I think we're going to have to have an arrow facing to the left. Um, so it can't be A or B. So between C or D, um, 
All the shapes seem to be... Oh, it might be the number of contact points. Yes, perfect. So one, two, three contact points with the triangle and the circle. One, two, three, four contact points. So one, two, three, four, five contact points. Six contact points. So we need seven contact points here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. It's got to be this one. Yeah. So even though um, I thought it was the number of sides each shape has, it's actually the number of contact points it has with the circle. Bingo. Perfect. 73 seconds. A bit longer than what's good, but timing we can work on later. So here, right. We've got three arrows, three arrows, three arrows, three arrows, three arrows. Two arrows, two arrows, two arrows, two arrows, two arrows. Two arrows. Total number of shapes is five, four, four, three, okay, three, five, six. So the number of shapes doesn't seem to make a huge difference. Um, yep, so in that case, we're going to go with um, just the number of arrows in each one. So two arrows has to be set B, uh, four arrows is neither, Three arrows set A, two arrows set B, one arrow is neither. Um, let's see if that's enough of a rule. Sometimes, although like, you know, the rules seem this simple, um, the questions can be quite simple, but other times it can be harder. Yikes, okay, we answered them pretty quickly. Um, yeah, pretty good work there. Did quite well, actually. Um, right, so I've got, an, I've got an arrow in each one. The arrow seems to get it longer. And it's gone from black, white, grey, white. So I think the arrow should be white next, because you know it's going black, white, grey, black. So it's going to be between A, B, and D. I've got um, this sort of pattern. So white diagonal, white, black sort of arrows. Then it's going that way, then it's going that way, then it's going that way. So it's going to be facing, the, the black arrow is going to be facing the bottom right, white's going to be facing the top left. So it's got to be, got to be the first one. Um, None of the others fit, so yeah, that should be enough of a rule, I think. Um, so do you see, for that, we didn't have to look at the other shapes in the in the problem, and we pretty much got to an answer which worked, and it wasn't the answers. Yep, great, correct. Let's keep going. Right, so we have one, two, three, big, one, two, three, big, one, two, three, big. Aha, uh -huh, so it's changing. So here you can see the whites are getting smaller and the blacks are getting bigger. We've always got three whites. We've got five, five greys, it's not blacks, or greys, Another five greys. Um, here we've got another five greys, another five greys. So the greys are going to be even bigger. I need five greys and three really small blacks. Um, and the only one which works is this one. Perfect, yes, 27 seconds, even better. We've got one circle, um, one arrow. Two circles, two arrows. So what the rule already seems to be is that for each circle we have, we've got the same number of arrows pointing towards each one. So we've got um, Three circles and three arrows pointing to each one. Four circles and four arrows pointing to each one. So we need five circles and five arrows pointing to each one. So this has got too many. This has got uh, five, five, five. This one has got one, two, three, four. No, it can't be this one. This one has got one, two, three, four, five. 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 Yes, yeah, good. Whereas this one has got five circles as well. But it's got one, two, three, four. So it's got to be that one. Again, it's all about picking up the rule quickly and then applying your knowledge effectively to get to a good answer. Perfect, 54 seconds. Fantastic. Uh, let's do another one. So I've got hexagon, pentagon, sort of diamond, triangle, so you need a two sided shape. And the only one is going to be this one. Just to check the rules four arrows, five arrows, six arrows, seven arrows, eight arrows. That's perfect. I think we're getting a sort of a, what would you say, like a, a string of rather easy questions at the moment, nothing too challenging. Medify has got some pretty hard questions all actually, so I wouldn't say it's always this easy. So here I've got a sack, a sack with no lines, sack with one line, sack with two lines, sack with three lines. So we need a sack with four lines. So it can't be this one. Um, one... Uh, one, two, three, no, one, two, three, four, kind of, one, two, three, four, could be this one, I think, one shape, three shapes, one shape, two shapes, um, 
Right, well this one seems to be a funny one. So total number of sides is one, eight, three, nine. Um, oh, okay, here the sack's facing upwards, to left, down, right, it's just gonna be upwards, it's gotta be this one actually. Uh, yeah, and it's got four lines and edges as well, so that's good. Right. I think for abstract reasoning, it's very important that you become familiar with like naming shapes as you feel comfortable to quickly help you imagine how they're moving. Like some people spend ages thinking, is it a diamond or is it a square? Just call it a star, call it an arrow, whatever you know seems easiest for you, because naming it is just part of a smaller, um, you know, smaller challenge compared to the wider scale of actually getting the answer. So here I've got. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six lines, six lines, no, six lines? Mm, not really. Um, why did I think that? One, two, hmm. Interesting. I kind of see what's happening, um, but I'm not sure what the rule is, so let's think about it. Because here you've got like one cross, whereas here you've got like kind of a shape and a cross together. Um, could it be the number of angles? No, because that's eight angles, six angles. Um, Number of corners, eight corners, six corners, no. Um, okay, I'm going to do this by eye, and I, because I can't think of the actual rule, but that's set A, set A, set A, um, set A, because this is neither, it looks like we've got too many shapes. Um, set B, okay. So, although I haven't sort of found a rule for that one that I can explain, I've done it by eye, and fingers crossed we've got a few marks. Because in the exam, that's the best thing you can do. And look, lo and behold, we've got all five marks. Let's actually go and check what the rule is here. Because even though we're getting the answers correct, we have to just go back and check so we can learn what this topic was about. And this is all about the total interior angles of all shapes and intersecting lines summates to 720 degrees. Here it summates to 360. Okay, so it's about the total um, of angles in each one. So now I know that a question like this with loads of shapes and crosses, it could be to do with the actual number of angles and the totals of angles. And as you can see, when I was trying to work out the rule, I didn't even think about the totals of angles. I was counting the number of angles instead of the actual amount of them. In the future, when I do a similar question, I'll actually, it will cross my mind for me to actually total up the number of angles or the value of the angles as well. And yeah, that's part of the learning process of abstract reasoning. So, great. Here I've got one smiley, one unhappy. One smiley, one unhappy. Three smileys, one unhappy. What on earth is going here? The three happies, two unhappies. One happy, three unhappies. Five happies, one unhappy. So it looks like the number of happies is always odd here. No, it's because even, yeah, it's e odd, odd, odd. Whereas here, the number of happies is always even. Perfect, we got it. And so A, the number of unhappies always is odd, and in B, the number of happies is always even. So let's just crack on. This is neither, but I always need one happy. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven happies, which is odd, so it's at A. I've got one, you know, one, two happies, which is at B. Um, one, two, three happies, which is at A, but no unhappies, I always need an unhappy, so it's neither actually. Here I've got one happy, um, here, which is set A, because it's an odd number of happies. So this question is actually quite hard because there are so many different like happies and unhappy faces. It's very easy to miscount. So be careful with these sorts of questions because if you do miscount, you can lose marks rather easily and you'd rather not. Fantastic, all of them are correct. Right, so I think we've done quite a few questions now and hopefully this video has been useful for you all. Do let me know if you have any other questions. And yes, hopefully I will make a few more of these study with me videos for you guys. Um, in the near future. Do use Medify's platform as I've been using today. It's fantastic to use. It's a really useful platform that can help you also um, understand uh, understand what to do and how to do uh, different things in different sections. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.